Spider-Man, renew your vows. So I finally got a chance at the Spider-Man Renew Your Vows pack. I had to be very patient. I had to play the waiting game. I played the waiting game at first and passed on this because of a single figure that was in the pack. Spinneret. I'm sure we're going to be talking about it. I don't like her design. So I passed on it only to start hearing that this might very well be the best Spider-Man made, period. So then I said, well, crap, I think I want it. So I started looking into it, and its price skyrocketed. It was a real problem. I couldn't get it. Then I gave it a little time, and I tried again. Just so happens they're starting to show back up at places like Big Bad and whatnot, and they're back down to about $50, $54. And I said, all right, I'm doing it because I'm not going to watch it go up again. Now, there was another Spider-Man that a lot of people have been talking about, which is the first appearance Spider-Man. And I thought about that as well. But when it came down to the two Spider-Man figures, one is a very original Steve Ditko figure, which looks fantastic, and I do want it on the shelf. It's going to be another Spider-Man that I purchase. But I don't like the web wings. I think they look cheap and impractical, and I really don't like the way they're done on that figure. Every one of the reviews I've seen led me towards this one being the one that I needed for the shelf. So if I'm going to pick just one Spider-Man, that signifies Spider-Man on my Marvel figure shelf, it's got to be this one. This is the one that, as far as everything I have watched, he's the best. So I've got pretty high hopes here. Let's do this. All right, so here's the box. Uh, this is one of those closed boxes. And luckily, I'm an opener. So I'm going to get to see this character and put him on my shelf. I'm not attacking anybody that's a closed box collector. Don't misunderstand it. But for me, if I was a closed box collector, I would buy this before I buy this. Because there's the toy. It's what I bought. It's why I bought it. This is a picture. So my argument is that if all you wanted was a picture of your figure, just go buy a picture. Print this out and stick it on your wall. It doesn't, it, to me, it's, it doesn't serve the same purpose. These closed boxes, which we've talked about multiple times on this channel, hurt the inbox collecting community a lot. Sidebar, really sweet. That's really good artwork, actually. And by the way, I have read almost all of this, to the point where I'm actually surprised it wasn't a three-pack, either coming with the teenage version or the younger version of their child. Instead, we only got Spinneret and Spider-Man, and it's, a, it's an actual question for me as to whether or not they will ever make their kid. I don't know. And if they do... Now I'm almost in the set where, like, because this is how collecting works, they nab you with one item, one item, why don't one item. If I've got these two on the shelf, I should probably finish and get and make the family. Uh, I did read a lot of this, almost all of this, so I am very familiar with it in general, and I really, really, really liked the artwork. I re I even want to say that I did a couple of reviews of their books on this channel a long time ago, back when those books were first coming out. And I had some I had some fantastic things to say about it, as well as some negative things to say about it. But we're not here to talk about that. Let's open them up. Okay, this should be a no plastic packaging. And normally I don't do this, but for this box this time, I wanna do this. I wanna see how it was packed in here. Move that, move that. Pull it out. Okay. So it was like two cardboard coffins, basically. That's, that's how they packed it in there. That's fine. I don't know what this is. 
Maybe it's some sort of instructions. I don't know. Okay. Let's pull that. Pull that. There we go. A bunch of stuff. Okay. Let's unbox all this. I'll be right back. I don't want to get a bunch of crinkle all over the video. Okay, so the first one I unwrapped was Spinneret. I just happened to grab one of the packages and that was the first one that I got. Her feet are already giving me some troubles here. Are you gonna are you gonna play the, the girl game where you don't stand up? Because that happens with a lot of Marvel Legends females. You gotta kind of play around with them and get the rock just right and they're kind of hard to balance and everything. But I think I got her. I think I got her. She's standing up. She's not perfect or whatnot, but she's there. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Looking at her in figure form, it's a lot less of a letdown. I don't like this costume. Like, almost at all. Even though it is incredibly reminiscent when I'm sitting here staring at it, it's basically almost an inverted costume of what her husband wears. Except for these little booty things, and maybe that's part of what throws me off. Maybe I really don't like this. Rest of it seems solid. I mean, she's got the decent spider. She's got... The, what is this about? Does she have something that's supposed to go there? What is that about? Was this for another... Is this a reuse? That... I don't like that. I don't like that there's two holes in her back. She didn't come with anything for that to, like, make sense. Weird. She's got the knees. She's got the jointed knees. She can kick her own butt. And she's got the elbow to where she can get all the way up and rock on. Awesome. Uh, she does come with web shooter hands, climbing hands, and fist hands. And an extra head. The body sculpt is really good, actually. This is really thinned out. I think I see some decent muscle tone. I like this. I know this is a mild thing, but this actually pokes out a little bit. She's not flat here. I actually like that because it's more of an actual athletic form body. I think they're getting a lot better about the athletic bodies and the females actually looking more like women instead of just incredibly exaggerated comic books. And sometimes I like the incredibly exaggerated comic book look, but sometimes I do actually appreciate this more actual body. So I like that this pokes out right here, that it's actually realistic to the way that the muscles work and the area in general. Uh, she could have used a bit more bicep, maybe, if I was arguing the same thing, but if she just has spider strength, she doesn't have to be super powerful because I also like my Spider-Man, my younger Spider-Man, to be, like, lanky. So it kind of kicks back to that aspect. It almost makes me feel like they reworked an old costume of Peter's that was, like, smaller back when he was lanky. Is that a heart? Is... Am I imagining... I'm going to turn her head all the way around here where the webs come right here above the spider, okay? Do you see that? Do you see at the very bottom of her neck where the web stops and the two bumps go down and then it goes, is that a heart? Is that supposed to be a heart on Mary Jane right there above the spider? Right there. Do you see it right there? Is that a heart? I don't know if that's like a detail that was honestly added or what. That's a pretty cool head sculpt. Uh, at first, I, I really, I did not like her design in the comic books. Uh, but the more I'm staring at it now, that's actually really well done. Uh, there's something about it being physical, being in the 3D plane, that works for me. It did not work for me on paper. What about the Mary Jane face? Do we have a adult Mary Jane that really works? I feel like I've seen this sculpt before, but I wouldn't be able to guarantee it. But I, I feel like that seems familiar to me somehow. I don't know exactly how. But it's a solid Mary Jane face. I actually like it a lot. So surprisingly, Spinneret is a pass. She's perfectly acceptable. That brings really high hopes for Spider-Man. Okay, next up, we're going to look at Spider-Man here. 
Spider-Man does come with the alternate Peter Parker head, and it looks fantastic, by the way. That, I like that a lot. I almost like his little smugness about him. That, that's a really good Peter Parker head. I'm really enjoying that. He comes with climbing hands, punching hands, web hands. Awesome. All right, let's see him. Let's move in here. I like the muscle definition. I really like that. I think that's really solid. He's not way too big. He's more... I like my Spider-Man to be almost McFarlane level. Like, I like him to be a little more, uh, like, kind of somewhat tall, somewhat lanky, but, like, muscularly built. Uh, sometimes when he's too big, it actually bothers me. What we got going on with the ab crunch? Uh, it doesn't go in as much as I would like, necessarily. That goes way back. We, of course, got the lower articulation here, which is really solid. We need both of those for Spider-Man. Like, we absolutely need it. We've got the bicep swivel, swivel area up at the shoulder. He's got... Uh, he does have the shoulder for a second. I was really worried. Oh, my gosh. There. Okay. His muscles get in the way a little bit, so he doesn't have the same range of motion that she has with that with that elbow. But he's 100% pinless. I'm not seeing any pins. I didn't. Th I don't think I've seen any on her either. She's pinless as well. We got the knee, so that's absolutely fantastic. And we got toe articulation, which I'd heard that was a big selling point of the character in general. And that is the Spider-Man head that I like. The bigger eyes, the webs that cross the face the way they do, the nose bridge is really nice. That's, for me, that's basically a perfect Spider-Man head. Uh, I like this spider. I think this is fantastic. I like the big tick on the back. Oh, I didn't even realize that. He has those uh, uh, butterfly joints. Those are nice. That's going to allow him to do some things that like the Spider-Man needs to be able to do. Uh, comparing the butts of the family, though, Parker's butt is, uh, he's not going to win that Spider-Woman prize. That's for dang sure. It's not, uh, it's not blowing anybody away. Hey, you are, you are an ab man. You like show off the midriff, don't you? Your wife has a butt. That's a butt. Right there, you see that? See that? That's a butt. There you go. Now your day is complete. You're nice. You're real nice. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. I think he looks terrific. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now I'm curious, how crazy can I get, like, we're talking about, like, so we, I want to put the foot, like, way up. This one goes down. This one comes out kind of, it spreads up a little bit. I want to put this arm all the way back, pull it in as if he just pulled off a web or something like that, right? Kind of maybe even put that way up, right? Kind of turn him, bring him in. We're talking like a crazy, look at that. Maybe even turn him a little bit into it. And it wouldn't be the worst idea ever, maybe even to add, look at that. And that was, that was not even trying. That was just a quick, quick little, I'm going to try something. And automatically, right off the bat, I got something that with a little tweaking, not even that much, I don't think, I could probably make this fantastic, actually. Wow. I may have got exactly what I wanted here. This may literally be the Spider-Man that I have literally waited for for years. Look at that. Like, he has a lot of movement, man. I can get, I can get all the way down. I can put his foot out, pull his toe in. This is just off the cusp, too. How far up can he look? So crawling is going to be, a, it's going to be okay, but it's not going to be perfect because he can't really look up enough to get that web crawling looking up at you feature that I would have liked. I've heard that you can get that a lot better on like the uh, the first appearance Spider-Man. So that's actually cool. Oh, there's a, there's a movement right there too. So man, there's like almost no restrictions on this guy at all. I did it. Um, I waited it out. And as far as I'm concerned, out of everything that I've seen, they did it. If I'm going to argue, and I know that I don't have first appearance, so I can only argue so much, 
He's the best Spider-Man. I got exactly what I wanted here. So yeah, I almost bought like five or six different Spider-Man. I seen them all over the place. Not necessarily this one, but just different Spider-Man. I even almost backtracked and bought the Pizza Spider-Man because everybody praises the Pizza Spider-Man body. But I knew, I knew there was there were better bodies and that the body had been reused like crazy and that we'd moved past it by this point. I knew for sure that in the long run it was going to be between this one or it was going to be the first appearance Spider-Man. And at this point, I think I did right by buying him first. I think he is tremendous. I don't know what I'm going to do with him on the shelf, but like, I just, he's fantastic. This is impressive. This has got to be, hands down, the best Spider-Man figure I have ever held in my hands, literally ever. I'm very impressed. The only thing I'll say is that his head should be able to look all the way up. I don't know how they would do that. I don't know what kind of problem it would associate or cause. I don't know. Let me pull the head off the socket here. Nope. See that? I was wondering if maybe that moved back for... It doesn't. This this is as far as that goes. It pops forward, it pops back, and it doesn't go any, for, any more back. So once you like pop that forward, you pop the head on, you've got what you're going to get. But you know what? That's not a whole lot of complaining. This guy... This guy just hit the mark, man. That there is the best Spider-Man I have ever held in my hands. At price point. I guess I'll put it that way. Because maybe if I was to go crazy, maybe I... Who knows? Maybe if I got one of those Mafex in my hands or something like that, I'd be changed forever. And I'd be like, hey, this is the way to go. I don't know. I stick to Marvel Legends for a reason. Marvel Legends is a known property. The choices are pretty much infinite in Marvel Legends, and the price point is solid for what you get. I paid $54 for the pack. That's not bad. That's relatively $27 per character. And with the way that this, with the way that I see Marvel Legends going at $24, we normally get the figure, maybe an extra hand, maybe a head, and that's not a guarantee. I got a rogue up there. She was twenty. She was twenty-five dollars out the door, plus tax, so almost thirty bucks. And that rogue, she came with hands. That's it. No extra head. No effects. No nothing. You could argue maybe Spider-Man could have came with some webs. But I've got plenty of webs. Like for all the different figures that I've bought and everything, I've got plenty of webs. I'm not worried about that. This is solid. I am 100% on board for this. I'm looking forward to adding him to the shelf because he is, uh, he's fantastic. All right. I've now added Spider-Man Renew Your Vows to the shelf. And it is the best Spider-Man I have ever held in my hands later on. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.